21 Savage calling out his XXL classmates. We got time for that? I think so. We got time I've been, for that. I've been holding this in. You've been holding it in? Yeah, oh, man. Oh, man. Because it, I got to oh, pull up that cover, no, bro. Oh, no. We're about to pull it up. Okay, we'll put bro. it right on the screen. Because I think, yeah, we, we got to go person to person, pound for pound. Yeah, bro. That was what, 2016? Mm. Who do we have? We want we want to go down just person to person? <laughs> or, or do you want to just start with some general thoughts? You're basically asking me, do I want to individually shit uh, on these rappers? Which I would say to that, I am personally not against it because there are a handful of people on this cover that do I don't think stand a chance. Hey. Anderson Pat is a different genre. That's a hard one. I think we can address him last. Okay. Y- y- Yachty, I'm sorry, bro. Like y- y- y'all know me, man. I- I've been I've been I've been talking my Yachtyism for a long time. I'm a solid um, fan, it's bro. It's another mark against you, bro. <laughs> I mean, I'm, I, I love him enough to, to let him know when he, he's up against a different beast. To be honest with him. Yeah, it's like, bro, right. don't walk on that battlefield. Please, you'll die. Hey, that's, Come that's, back. that's real loyalty. Come, exactly, that's, bro. That's real loyalty right there. Lil Dicky, no. Sorry. Not happening. No, not at all. Not at all. Not at all, Lil Dicky. Designer. You're out of here. Respect no. for you, what you did, but now, nah. Okay, nah. designer. And I do want to preface it by saying, like, every artist on this cover, I do like as a music artist. This is literally one of the strongest yeah. covers, if not the strongest yeah, ever. of all time for XXL. For like, sure. literally every artist on this list is still successful. XXL, who, who's that a talk? In, is that John? Form, that's is that, Dave East. Yeah, every artist on this list is still I don't, successful. Yeah. I don't see any, any fails Follow, yeah, follows, on this yeah, cover. Yeah. No, but no. Everyone on here, bro. I would probably say Dave East... And this is without like understanding pocket watching and understanding all you're doing. So, you know, look, take it as you as it is, right? Davies is probably no, actually, I take that back. Designer is probably the least successful on this cover. In terms of Okay. Mm. In terms of lasting cultural moves because Dave East has made the pivots in terms into um, acting and things like that. You know, he's been in one of those things where he was never as hot as any of these artists. Right? Yeah. Like he's probably the least hot out of all of these over time. But he navig has navigated well and made the right moves. He's only I would say he's only increased his value. Maybe not fully within music. Okay. But as an overall <laughs> brand, I think he's doing well as a brand. I think okay, we we already said we started with all these people yeah. we're considering yeah. successful. Right? <laughs> all these people we consider successful in, in, in some way still. Yeah. But I think yeah, I think designer would be the low for me. Yeah. Just from what I understand on the front front end. You know, it's not even like a personal opinion. It's just the shit that I've seen and I'm, am aware of. Yeah, he don't have enough. Because remember, too, the criteria for versus versus are what, like an hour? He got like... Oh, yeah. okay. So we're going back to music strictly. Yeah, we're, now we're out of the success. So are we just talking music straight up? Yeah, yeah. I was Catalog. talking... Yeah, the only... The only... Her people on here, I think, is seriously compete with Twenty One Savage in the verses is Uzi and Kodak Black because they have mm-hmm. like Love Denzel Curry. He don't have enough big hits, so I think it would have to be a very, very specific crowd. Right, a Denzel. specific crowd, and I wouldn't even say him with a specific crowd just because of yeah. I would say G Herbo with a specific crowd might have a fighting chance, a fighting chance, a puncher's chance. Yeah, like he gonna get some hits off, yeah. but he he going down eventually. Very specific. Well, it's 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 no different than the. To me, it's no different than the Gucci Mane Jeezy. Mm, I don't know, man. I don't. Hold on. <laughs> let me say no different. Let me not say no different. Right? What I mean? Let me explain. <laughs> uh, this is my WAP take of the. Of the yeah, bro, you got, <laughs> this you got is my the... WAP my WAP equivalent take. Right? <laughs> nah, nah, nah. What I'm saying is. Jeezy had more commercial success than Gucci musically. Okay. Particularly in that era. Yeah, okay. Right? Okay. But you hear Gucci versus Jeezy in Atlanta, you can very you could come out of that versus and feel like Gucci won. Without a doubt, right? It, especially when you add all the cultural stuff that happened, you know, the mm. smoking on, like all that shit. Um, like you know, that whole beef and the way he was kind of disrespectful that, that, you know, people felt, okay, like that's a side thing, but I'm just talking about musically. Musically, you could come out of that and feel like Gucci won, but understanding the limitations where everybody in the nation don't like know all his music, like Atlanta knows his music. Yeah. People feel like Jeezy won. 
All right. Yeah. So yeah. maybe if you go to his hood, I feel like G Herbo does that. It's harder to find that in some of these other fan bases, but I feel like G Herbo might have that in, in, yeah, in that's, his that's, hood. That's, that's what fair. I'm saying. That's fair. But that that's that's such a specific yes, situation. Agreed. Yeah. Agreed. Like, agreed. The the the, the Fahrenheit has to be right that day. The moon has to be yeah. in the right place. You know, we, we know it has to be a crescent moon. I get it, bro. But all I'm saying, he might have a puncher's chance, right? But I agree. Kodak. Yeah, Uzi, bro. Uzi. Only two that got a serious. Anderson and- as well. But Anderson- I know it's a different category. No, yes, bro. Bro. <laughs> it's weird that he's on here the way he is now. I understand yeah. at that time why he was on there because he was rapping a lot more in that, yeah. and doing that, using that part of his on um, toolbox but hey man he's on here 21 savage said everybody on here bro we gotta go with everybody we can't just put him aside but that's what i'm saying bro like that would have to be it would have to be the right room for anderson pack if, yeah. if if 21 right. savage if it was mainly anderson pack type of people yeah bro if, if it was anybody else what well, i'm talking about 21 savages core audience little white kids anybody else bro it's over <laughs> <laughs> hey man <laughs> old white kids <laughs> or old white people Anderson Pack all day give it to them <laughs> but they're not going to the verses bro alright old black people Anderson Pack all day and then but 21 21- Bruno stuff he gonna get off come on now <laughs> 21 Savage got Post Malone fans behind him he got Drake fans behind him now so he can't talk about Bruno bro <laughs> we, do, we doing that we, we don't talk about Bruno no bro I like Bruno Mars man I'm, I'm saying bro like that them hits is, well, we can't be like oh you don't count the features and stuff but Bruno yeah. Mars ain't post more than Drake wait wait whoa 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 what Bruno isn't on post Malone and Drake's level I think I'm gonna stand by that I'm gonna, let's, look, <laughs> let's start let's, let's start with monthly listeners you know that's the go to numbers argument yeah, I think I'm. I think I'm standing by that. <laughs> All right, Drake, I can get just from longevity. Like he's a different beast. I put him in a different category. He's at 51 million monthly listeners. Oh shit, I might, I might have to take it back, bro. I'm shit, telling you, I'm gonna look at my the boy. world is bigger than us, my guy. So, so post my own like like 200 thousand behind him. 200k, but hey, see what you talking about? Bruno Mars been around longer. So, that's what Drake been around longer. That's part of why I didn't put Drake in um. <laughs> In Bruno's category, I mean Bruno and Drake category, but like if we want to be realistic, shoot, Drake got sixty six. Okay, see now we talking about different air. <laughs> see, you can say he not. What did I say? He ain't Drake. I'll give you Drake, but but post, and then we know Weekend is above that. So all right, we ain't gonna get into that. That right? So Bruno, Bruno's him, bro. That's all I'm saying, bro. You no, I I agree with that. you, man. Like and nobody in the chat, bro. Don't, don't that ain't what I was saying. Yeah. I, I'm I know, bro, but I'm saying like it's like. It's like going into a fight with one superhero on your side versus two or three of them on your side. Like, yeah, you maybe you're talking you, about the features. Yeah. Okay. But just the things you you're, you're attached to. I give you the, that. The people you've been able to, to siphon from, right? I give you that. <laughs> siphon. <laughs> <laughs> and so it's like, I don't, like I said, but the only two people I think could seriously compete, and that it would even be fair to put it together, would be him and Uzi or him and Kodak because yeah, the true. audience mash up the, the audience that would know about all of them. So it would be a very fair fight. You know what I'm saying? Like, yes. like everybody here knows about the other two versus like, like I said, if it was Anderson Pack fans could maybe make a case. I don't know who 21 Savage is. Probably not, but maybe. Right? Or let's actually say if it was 21 and Lil Dicky. Lil Dicky fans would probably make a case. They don't know who 21 Savage is. 21 right. Savage fans could probably uh-huh. definitely make a case that they don't know who Lil Dicky is, right? Kodak Black, Uzi, 21 Savage, in the same room, all their audience would know who the other one is. It would truly, truly be a battle of the hits and not who do I like the most. So. Hmm. All right, realistically, because again, you know, I'm, look, I was just playing the game. He said everybody. <laughs> so he had to at least consider and make an argument for Anderson. We know he's a different animal coming from a different space. But realistically it's what you said right yeah 21 uzi and um dang kodak yeah who do you got uh i ain't gonna lie man it's hard because i'm such a big fan of all three i'm looking at their catalogs now bro because uzi play xo to a life to build and shut down but well, easy but kodak black play uh what's the shit called um Damn, but why flocking? Uh, yeah, but no flocking. Easy, no, no, but you got a lot. They they all have a lot, bro. Yeah. Like 
the Atlanta in me is going to say 21 Savage. God always root for the home team. My, I'm going to say, I'm going to put Uzi last. Mm, last? Yes. Crazy. Crazy. I know somebody got to be last, but I just I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how fast you do it out there. <laughs> I was doing the math, bro. I'm with, I think. Because cause now we're working from the 20. That's what I'm doing. We're not just talking about the success of the artist. So we're working with the concept of 20. And I think, I personally think Kodak and 21 have more on that level mm. than you know, Uzi. Because, you know, Uzi had the whole thing where he just went a period. You know, he had to go dark because of the industry shit. Right? So that took away from it. Not saying he couldn't have had more, but, yeah. you know, he had he didn't have as many that hit on that level. Now, I could be wrong. Hey, y'all make the argument. 21, this is off the top, by the way. So uh, I think 21, I don't think he has as many as as high as Kodak, right? Let's just say if we made like maybe a top five or something, like I think maybe his top five might be stronger than, um, than 21's top five, but I'm pretty certain without looking at the discography. I think twenty one would get him in tw- in twenty. In twenty, because the argument that people are making against Twenty One Savage is that his biggest songs are mainly featured. He's featured on or has features on. Whereas like the other artists, I have like really large solo hits. So we're going straight with the we're going to go with the solos main. I mean, I think that's a strong argument against Twenty One. I can't, it you, is, can't bro. you can't lie about it's, that one for sure. That's true, man. He got bank account. You know what I'm saying? He got. Uh, let me look at the catalog, bro. Let's see what was on I am I was. A lot. Oh, no, I had J. Cole on there. Yeah, I about to say. Yeah, no, mind. no. Like, his biggest ones are definitely yeah. featured. That's what, but this is also why I also say in 20, I think he he ekes it out. Yeah. But I don't think his top, his biggest ones aren't as big as Kodak. I don't think. That's just off off the top, though. Let me, I mean, let, let's pull it up. And none of them are fucking with uh, XO Tour Life. Oh, yeah. That yeah. by itself, yeah. for sure. You, the numbers definitely speak for that one alone. Let's see. Let's just pull up. You know, just do a quick. We're not going to go on this forever because we know that there's, you know, there's emotions that gets involved as well. But let's just look at the top five from Drowning, ZZ, Silent Hill, Super Gremlin, and Walk. Those are Kodak's top five mm-hmm. on Spotify. And, then and we're he could technically also do Bella Yellow. Because that lets you do songs that like you wrote or had some part in technically, you know. Technically. Yeah. See, but we're just gonna go off of the Spotify top five, yeah, right, just yeah. for simplicity, <laughs> just for simplicity. Because we have, I mean, one hundred percent, we know there's some shit that oh, could yeah, be. Bro, I'm tripping. I'm still looking on my phone. Oh right. man, I forgot this Drake. See that? This is new stuff from that new project. That that complicates his top five because it does. None of those have actually like hit yet. Not that say that people aren't playing them, but you know it hasn't been enough time for culture to like truly like crown them. Uh, that that messes me up. I don't hear what was on Sa- what, Savage Mode Two. Now nah, Heroes Were Cakes. I don't know, bro. Twenty One Savage because of how much he collabs with other artists, bro. He got so much shit out there. Yeah, he does. And in verses, they can Dang. use they can use things that were featured on. <sighs> All right, so I'm a, I'm a, I'll say this then with Twenty One since we can't just use the the Spotify top like I wanted to. Um, the thing about 21 that he can say, yeah, <laughs> features, 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 features. Yes, he has hella features, but damn it, his features be some of those artists' best shit. Yeah, facts. Like, for real. Facts, Whatever bro. bag he gets them in, they like to borrow the bag. They borrow 21's bag. It's usually not him going to them, right? It's yeah. them using some of his powers, his aura, so they can get in that bag. This this project, I'm still not um, done with the Drake 21 project, Crazy. by the way. I keep wanting to finish it, but then I keep starting over from the beginning every time. Crazy. That's my favorite project of Drake's in the last three projects, probably. Like, just from like the first three or four songs. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, it's resonating with me and where I'm at in my life. You know, sometimes you listen to stuff in different life, but that's the first one that when it came out, it hit me enough and where I am that I feel that shit and, yeah. and it's the movie. I'm with it. All right. So that that's how, that's how I feel about that. Then you got the the lot, right? Mm-hmm. We know that with um with J. Cole, two chains, some when he dropped that last project. The uh, the basketball, what's it called? 
Straight to the league? Something like that, something something like that something right? Rapper to the league, something. Rapper yeah. to the league, or yeah, wh- yeah, whatever, right? We know we talk about the same thing. That twenty, his twenty one tracks were some of the best tracks on there. Yeah. Like so, twenty one elevates. Yeah. The, the music you can't just act like twenty one is just copping somebody else's shit, bro. Yeah, bro. He like he like salt, man. You know you you. You go into it looking at salt, not expecting much, but hey, you bro. put salt on some food, bro, that shit becomes amazing. You oh, know what I'm saying? Exactly, bro. All, <laughs> all 21 of them herbs and spices, bro, that he be putting on that shit, bro, be making it taste just perfect, man. And there's a lot, bro, because on that list, I think he's probably the, the better feature artist. Like, And there's a yes. lot, like like you said, bro, Like everyone is always looking for who is going to help put them in the best situation. Yes. And so if I had to pick between those three artists, I'm like, man, who is comfortably going to do a good enough feature job that I'm in a great situation, I probably would go 21. Easy. easy yeah easy bro you know what i'm saying easy. it's like because he's proven that he has a good track record of doing that and we all know bro like if you become that artist that everybody fucks with because they know when they put you on their shit like they gonna go that's a great position to be in you know what i'm saying and then you also can make your own quality solo music mm-hmm. which he does great position to be in you know what i'm saying right. amazing position to be in and they've done a great job with that without him t-painting himself yes that's that's fair i think it's he's he became more of a personality faster than t-pain did I agree with that, and yeah. I think the sound isn't as specific as yeah. and and you know as novel as when Team Hank yeah. came out. But you know they also didn't get exploited as quickly. Well, they hopped on yeah. T Pain. Well, they were everybody was going for it, bro. Yeah. So in that short period period of time, so there's been factors, but I think for whatever way, way and whatever reason, right? I'm not even here to break down why that may or may not happen. Point is. He's been a go-to feature person like T Pain was in that period of time, and the impact is has has lasted more. Maybe T Pain had more, as much as Twenty One had in a short period of time, whatever. Yeah. But like, he's not. His brand is only elevating, which we, you know, for many factors, T Pain took a took a toll for a second, right? And many of them were unjustified. But, but boy, yeah, what Twenty One is my one of my favorite 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 brand stories. Yeah. Over the last decade, him and him, two chains. I'm sure there's a couple other, but those two, like just the way they navigate, level of strategy, difficulty, and how they move. Not just oh, I'm the biggest artist in the world, and I pop like I'm like Cardi B did out of nowhere. Like not one of those. Like they really mm-hmm. navigated their way to where they are. <sighs> yeah, Twenty One and Two Chains are two of my favorites. Yeah, he's real life. I think we gotta do an episode about that one day, like because uh, I would put Twenty One Savage in the conversation of best rebrands, one of the best rebrands ever, bro. Like, you know, if I would have told you ten years ago, five, let's not even say ten because he went around ten years ago. Let's say five years ago that one day Twenty One Savage is gonna be giving you financial advice. <laughs> yeah, you have laughed at me. I mean, I might have asked about what specifically. <laughs> you know what I mean, like. Just because, yeah, you know, because of the brand. Like yeah, because said, of the right? brand. Like the are brand. we talking about yeah. work in the street? Are we talking yeah. about how to move, right? Oh, but, I, I, but I always would have thought it would have been good the way he presented himself. Yeah, that's true. Because he's always, whenever he interviewed, you could tell Brush Sharp. He just didn't have the experience maybe in some of the categories he's yeah, right now. Yeah, right? Like he, even going into the whole financial literacy um, brand that he's in, like, it was a very interesting flick. I don't know if you remember, he started by doing the yeah, whole yeah. stop wearing jewelry thing. And yeah. that was like. Why oh, I'm being smart about my money? It's like okay, so Twenty One Savage knows something, right? Like he's been listening to some, some, some Stephen Graham or something. I don't know, man. <laughs> somebody got, him, somebody got him right, and then yeah. he elevated from there. Got the cash up thing, but he, he, I think he has one of the most interesting rebrands in music artist history of all time because it's, 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 it's so far left field from what you're used to seeing artists and his, his demographic use that brand for. Mm-hmm. That is like it's shocking, but in a really good way. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm not even gonna bring up some of the other moments of his rebound because, like you said, that could be a whole episode. That's a whole episode. But what I will say is, what's your top three out of this? Like, give me the ranking. So we gotta end it. <laughs> you gonna force you into a ranking? Uzi. Oh damn it! All right, um, damn. All right, top three. Twenty one Kodak and Uzi. So you agree. Look at that. Yeah. Look at that, man. You could have just said it when I said it, man. Call that Uzi. See, it's not that, that that's, hard. That hurt, bro. Honestly, <laughs> in a perfect world, if I wanted to say what I wanted to say, it would end in a tie. And we all of us as fans hey, go home happy. Ain't perfect. <laughs> <laughs> all of us as fans go home happy. <laughs> and I bump all that music on the way home. Oh man. And I don't have to deal with the sting from any of my favorite artists being taken down <laughs> like that. <laughs>
I just want to take a quick second and say thanks for watching. And if you want to learn more about marketing and branding and blowing music up in the music industry from people who have done it and continue to do it, go ahead and hit that subscribe button before you click to the next video. Hit that subscribe button now.